lot of female peacocks. I only see one male in there. We are heading south from Savannah. 56 mile day today. We're gonna be staying at a hip camp somewhere between Savannah and Brunswick. We stayed with a East Coast Greenway organization member last night, uh, Brent and Heather, their daughters Lily and Victoria and their Chihuahua Pico. I think Pico and I bonded last night. We were hanging out in the living room chatting all, all about our adventure and about what they're up to and all the hard work uh, Brent's doing to uh, help the East Coast Greenway grow. And uh, Pico and I were cuddling on the couch. He was snoring. It was a good deal. So. It was a really nice day, great host, very hospitable. Um, pointed us out to some, some good food around a couple blocks away. We had some nice tacos and a flight of beers at a brewery next door. So my kind of evening. The weather is improving. It's supposed to be in the mid 60s today and then the three to four days after that, definitely in the 70s. So we're finally gonna get a taste of warm weather again. We are in Georgia. We expected it to be a touch warmer by the time we got down here. And I keep having the same conversation on these videos about how we are still in long sleeves, still in pants, but it's actually really good temperatures for biking. So I can't complain because I will be complaining when we get to Florida and it's like 70 to 80, I'm gonna be melting because that's just me. All downhill from here, South Carolina's behind us. We heard Georgia's not too bad. Two states left. So, on a not so chipper note, when we stay at these people ha people's houses, um, we usually learn a thing or two about the Greenway or about things that have happened on the Greenway over the years. And unfortunately, South Carolina has a reputation as being the least bike friendly state on the journey and it is absolutely 100% spot on. Um, for some reason the drivers don't seem as friendly and don't like to move over as much when they're passing bikers as other states. Ouch, two huge pumps, I should pay attention. We learned last night that on one of the, the hairiest sections South Carolina on Route 17 that we did that had no shoulder. A gentleman from no figure, upstate New York, not very far from where we live actually, um, was bike touring with his dog. And he unfortunately got struck by a car in that, in that spot that we were just on. And he was 36 years old, he died. The dog was very injured but survived and it's just tough to hear that kind of stuff because I completely understand the feeling of being vulnerable and uncomfortable on a road like that and just wondering why the shoulders aren't wider and why there isn't more bike friendly routes and bike paths so that's that's a big uphill battle for the Greenway to work with South Carolina and get that that trail to be safer so we hope they make some serious progress on that um, because that can you know honestly keep people away from the trail i think a lot more people would, would consider the journey or even doing sections of it if they knew it was safer that section definitely intimidates people people have warned us all the way down Ooh, watch out for south carolina or rent a car or catch a ride and skip that that whole state it's no fun it's dangerous and it's true so you definitely have to be willing to assume a certain amount of risk if you're gonna ride a bicycle through South Carolina. Could happen to any of us any day, so gotta be careful. So it just goes to show how the work that these guys are doing day after day, year after year, um, how important it is and how long and slow the process can be to get a trail like this where you want it. So I don't think they get enough recognition for what they do, so can't thank them enough. They're doing the good work and we're, you know, we're reaping the benefits as riders and can't thank them enough.
got a little bit of greenway. We are very behind schedule today. We had to stop to get a resupply at the Kroger that we went by. And then we stopped to get another chicken sandwich, third one in a row from Parker's. We're gonna end up somewhere between Savannah and Brunswick tonight at a hip camp. So that is the plan. We are only about 17 miles into the day today and it's already well past like 12.30. A little bit behind, but uh, hopefully, it will be smooth sailing. We've already been on 17 today, but at least in the Georgia section, we have a bike lane, so that's nice. And we're told where there isn't a bike lane, at least we have like really wide shoulder when we're on 17. Georgia feels a lot better than South Carolina. again and uh, weather's warming up. I am in my t-shirt again so I'm excited about that. Well we're on 17 again. This time we're in Georgia and Georgia's nice to us because we actually have a shoulder. So compared to South Carolina we'll take it and earlier today we had an actual an actual bike lane which we haven't had in a while so that was nice I mean, we were told that most of today's ride should be relatively smooth sailing compared to South Carolina so see what happens what do you think Maishi we're at the smallest church in America watch out Maishi Tiny. We got ten seats. Good morning. So last night we stayed in Bell Bluff Campground, which is right off of the Greenway. So if you're looking for a campground to stay at in uh, Townsend, Georgia, Bell Bluff is right off the trail, right on the river. Pretty setting, not too much uh, pressure with the shower, but it does have hot showers. Is getting some exercise today in Darien, Georgia. About 22 miles into our ride today. Got about 44 total to do. Staying in an inn tonight, which I don't think we've done yet on this trip, so that'll be different. They're dog friendly, so why not?
So last night we stayed at the Brunswick Manor, which is this place right here. It's got four or five rooms in it. It was built in the late 1800s, I want to say 1886, and uh, has a lot of character in historic downtown Brunswick. And uh, not like any other place we've ever stayed. Definitely not. <laughs> Lots of uh, old relics and antiques, and because it's December now, a lot of Christmas decorations to be festive for the holiday. Didn't really want to run the cameras inside, but um, very well decorated and apparently owned by a local uh, restaurant owner. So this is a side project for them. And dog friendly. Dog friendly. Can't go wrong. So we have about 48 miles today. We are staying at a campground tonight. We're going to be our, this is going to be our last night in Georgia and then it's off to Florida. Warm weather! <laughs> it's actually warm today. Today is supposed to be warm. It's supposed to get over 70, so that's exciting. But now we gotta get going. It is almost 10 o'clock and we have 50 miles ahead of us. The biker hunger is getting real. We just went a half a mile each way out of our way, so like a mile out of our way to get snacks. <laughs> We've been snacking a lot lately. Pretty darn flat in South Carolina, Georgia, and Florida, but uh, this is what we call our biggest hill of the day right here. Dre's the lucky winner. Doesn't look like much when you're driving in a car, but doing it on a bike, it's a pretty steep incline. It's a slog. bump coming down at speed. I had to go back up. You had to go back up? Well yeah, I was going 40 miles an hour and then I had to stop and turn around and go back up. A lot of bridges in Georgia, huh Maishi? They are not her favorite. She gets a concerned look on her face. <laughs> when we go over these bridges, some of them, the ones she knows they're a bridge. Yep. Finally getting off the road for a few. Greenway down into our right. Just ran into Matt again. Across the globe, uh, across the map with Matt. Check out his his blog. And I'm sure we're gonna be running into him a few more times. He is 5,000 miles into his journey that he started in July. Definitely uh, making us look bad here. We thought 2,000 was good. And he's planning on continuing from Florida on the southern route to the Pacific Coast, and then north to Alaska.
finally found some rail trail in Georgia. We've got between 10 and 11 miles, it sounds like, left to go to our campsite. about campground we stayed here last night um, they don't really have much going on for tents we're basically out back by their shed and you kind of just pick and choose wherever you want to sit or set up your tent it is only $18 though so the price was right but the reason why I picked this campsite was because they have goats and a mini horse so let's go check those guys out so that's their mini horse Hulk Hulk, come here. He's being a shy guy today, I guess. I think he's coming over. Hi, bud. Hi, bud. You're a nibbler, huh? He's a nibbler. date of our journey but it's a long one really long one so we'll be in it for a while but yeah plan is to uh, cross the border into warm sunny weather for the rest of the trip hopefully how far seven miles we'll be saying goodbye to Georgia pretty crazy we have pedaled our bikes from the Canadian border in Maine and have arrived in our last state. We're well over 2,000 miles in. We've still got a ways to go, but this is definitely a milestone. We're pretty pumped. Trey's been looking for this bridge for the last seven miles. Giving me updates as we got closer. We've got shorts on. We left the campsite with shorts on this morning. I think that's gonna be the case for the rest of the trip. Boy, did we think it was gonna be warmer from like... We thought it was gonna be warmer once we got past DC, but we were just stuck in the bubble. You know, highs of 50 or 60 degree days was the best we got until we got down here. So. Flat roads and warmer weather, here we come. Welcome to Florida. 